released in 1994 by Hudson Soft for the Super Nintendo, an American tale, Fightful Goes West, is based off the animated movie of the same name that was released in 1991. It is odd to see a movie tie-in game be released so long after the movie it is based on. A 2D side-scrolling platformer, the game's story follows the plot of the movie. Fightful and his family are heading west for a supposed nirvana, where it is said dogs, cats and mice all live together in harmony. Of course it is a lie, told by Cat R. Wall, who is sending them to their deaths. However, before they can make it west, Fifel is knocked off the train and forced to make his own way to the town. Players taking the role of Fifel as he makes his way through levels based on the film, beginning on the streets and rooftops of New York and ending in the western town as the young mouse takes on Cat R. Wall. There's only about 15 levels and they're all pretty short, but there is variety in both the gameplay and visuals of each. A Super Nintendo favourite, the platforming gameplay is simple to pick up and play. Fifel can jump, duck and shoot a gun that fires corks to take out enemies and bosses. This gun can be upgraded with power-ups found throughout the levels, giving it a bit more range and sometimes a bit more damage. In a nice touch, some levels can be approached in different ways. Maybe you stick to the heights, dealing with bats and birds, or maybe you stick to the ground, dealing with snakes and cats. It's up to you, and the controls make moving up and down and around the level very simple. It's not a difficult game, even if Fifer can only take three hits before he dies, signified by three hearts in the top corner. Power-ups dotted around levels make things even easier too, as picking up a sheriff badge makes the mouse temporarily invincible. While picking up large hearts gives Fifel an extra hit, or heart. The most difficult section, and one that caused the most frustration, comes at the halfway point, where you have to control a minecart, jumping to avoid enemies. While you can control the speed yourself, going fast makes seeing what is coming next pretty difficult. It's a nice change of pace from the standard platforming though. An American Tale Five Goes West looks great. Really bright and sharp colours that fit the tone of the movie. However, while the sprites are pretty well detailed, backgrounds are bland and uninteresting. The same goes for the music. It's upbeat and cheery, but doesn't fit the levels. The minecart level also gets dangerously close to ripping off Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> Still, this is not a bad game at all. It's fun and simple to play. It's not particularly challenging, especially when compared to most other Super Nintendo platformers. Still, you get that feeling of satisfaction when you topple a boss. <laughs> The biggest praise that can be lumped on the game is that it stays incredibly faithful to the movie while still being a good game. Mm -hmm.